Welcome to Code with Vinod. In this video, we will learn how we can connect our AWS IAM user uh, with Windows CLI, and we will see how we can access the special credential uh, related to any IAM user. Let's say uh, one user having uh, uh, the permission related to EC2 instances, or let's say DynamoDB, or any other services. So in this video, we will learn how we can access. Uh, access all the things related to a, a user which is having EC2 instances permission. So let's uh, go on uh, AWS uh, account. So this is my free tier AWS account, and uh, first uh, we will create a, a IAM user which will have uh, EC2 instance uh, full access uh, permission. Click on users, then add new user. My EC2 instance user. So enable the control, uh, console access control. So here we will give uh, our custom password, let's say. I'm giving some simple password so this is for demo purpose only next and here we will give EC2 uh, user group access so here we can create our new uh, uh, group uh, with a specific credential let's say a specific permission to the specific service here I have already created Amazon EC2 full access uh, user group so we have uh means check for this and next create user so download uh, the credential file and then return to user list so here we have created uh, our user my ec uh, sorry ec2 should be there so now so we have uh, downloaded our credential file so my username is my ec3 so we can give uh, customize it later so this is my username password and this is console URL. but we will connect it with our uh, local uh, window uh, command prompt so again we will create uh, access key to connect with AWS CLI so here we will create access key I will use command line interface CLI next click on this create access key so for this I will create another CSV file then done so now we have username and password and we have access key and sec uh, secret key so let's go on command prompt so here i have already uh, installed aws cli so you can also install using uh, the documentation amazon is provide some do documentation like this how to install aws cli so you can follow this document to install AWS CLI so let's check the version which version I have installed so AWS hyphen hyphen version so it is there so let me configure my IAM user AWS IAM and then configure then I will give my access key then copy this security key and we will give the reason so by login using our user we can check the uh, reason so let me login with my i am user so let me log out from my admin user
and then login back so here uh, we will give account id so account id we will copy from here and i am user we will use this and password we created this one then sign in so first time it will ask for password update let's see so now we are logged in so let's create some ec2 service ec2 instances so other service we cannot access we are just able to access the ec2 instance so we will try to launch the ec2 instances and we will try to access these instances from our command prompt <coughs> click on instances then launch instance so one inst instance is already running so let me create my new instance then here uh, I'm using Amazon Linux and I will use without key pair then launch so EC2 instance is created view all instances so here uh, one instance is, instance is already running second one is pending so let's let's try to check how many instances are running from our CLI. So we have all let's give JSON JSON it's sorry let's give the region. So here region is uh, Asia Pacific. So let me copy it. and then output format type json so we can give other as well so let's uh, get the commands from uh, amazon instance documentation so amazon provides us the complete documentation to for cli commands so get all instances from cli so here we have commands So this command let's say to create complete instances. So I will check I'm checking for simple command to describe the instances. So let's check how many instances are there. So here we have instances state is disabled launching an index and more so this is the complete description about the instances second instance is there everything we can see see image id instance id so this is inside this video so thanks for watching so if you have any question Please comment in comment section. Please subscribe.